Hello, welcome to the Long Room. Joel and Christy, I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And this is our uh, weekly grocery haul, and today it was only Walmart. Yep. Uh, mainly because when we do our budget, we budget for an entire month, and we do two-week grocery hauls sometimes, but if we find ourselves where we don't have two weeks till the end of the month, we will only shop for one week. So basically this was August 23rd when we bought these, and that meant we only had eight days till the end of the month yeah. so we only bought one week uh worth of groceries and that way we easily can budget to our august budget and we don't have to worry about september's budget next week we'll go back and everything that we buy will be for september so yep. here we go we will be making pulled pork and um uh you'll see that over there in a minute that we bought um a pork shoulder but um we make homemade barbecue sauce. Uh, it's easier to control the ingredients in homemade barbecue sauce. You can control the sugar and you can control what kind of sugar you use in the barbecue sauce so that it's better for you and healthier. And so we buy coconut sugar for that mm -hmm. instead of using brown sugar or any other type of sweetener and that way we can control the sugar coconut sugar is a little healthier for you because it's not going to spike your blood sugar as much as white or brown sugar will so it's a little on the expensive side but we it, it will last us for two three maybe four months mm -hmm. it, it has a good shelf life so there you go um we are going to do a whole chicken and when i say whole chicken we do a spatchcock chicken and i know some of you may be a what but um we will uh, show you one day if y'all are interested in seeing what we mean by spatchcock chicken and how we do that, we'll do that. But we always have, like, I have one roll and they usually have maybe two on the side. So, I got bananas for myself. Wasn't loving the way the bananas look today, but what you gonna do? Um, these tomato paste, again, we're gonna make our own barbecue sauce and, um, you use tomato paste in that. The hamburger buns is for the pulled pork. When we have our leftover uh, spatchcock chicken or whole chicken, we will use um, the leftover chicken that we pull off of it for a chicken and wild rice soup. It's kind of like, um, I believe the recipe that we found for that that we use all the time is like a Panera, um, one like it's supposed to be like the Panera one, but you know, probably a little different. Kale for me. Again, they did not have any bunch of kale, so I just got the bag and working with what I have. All right, red potatoes. We have that on the side of our spatchcock chicken. We roast them. And we also will roast some broccoli to go with it. Uh, again, um, we use frozen broccoli for the roasted, but you can use fresh. It's just that's cheaper to do it that way. You don't have to worry about it going bad. Uh, zucchini is for my kale salads. Sweet potatoes is for my kale salads. Um, the pulled pork, when we have pulled pork sandwiches, we also make homemade French fries to go on the side. Joel only needed one pack of, ch of pudding this week. <gasps> yep. Yep. I think it's because he's been working so much lately. He hasn't been home as much to eat that. Uh, this heavy whipping cream is for the chicken and wild rice soup. No surprise here. We got him more Oreos. <laughs> um, he still can't find his regular creamer, so he got this kind and said he wanted to try it. Um, the celery goes in the chicken and wild rice soup. All right, um, I'll give you a little hint. There's an app called Checkout 51, and um, I'll be honest, it doesn't have a lot of rewards that I actually use on it, but I keep the app on, on there. I usually get a few dollars, maybe five or ten every year that, you know, I use it. It's not a lot. One time we did win a $100 gift card, uh, but other than that, we haven't had a lot of rewards come from it, but... 
every year on our birthday, my birthday, we get, which was two days ago um, at the time that we recorded this, we get a um, dollar off rebate in that app on, in, on a bakery item. And so we usually, when that comes around, we get that and um, then we like use it as a little birthday present for all three of us because Joel's birthday is a week before mine and our son's is five days after mine. So that means we had three birthdays in August. So we just get that as a little treat for ourselves. <laughs> so that's what that's for. I love, I, that's one of my favorite things is uh, what are they, uh, it's the great, great American Cookie Company yeah. calls it double doozies. So um, Joel wanted some whip topping for his coffee apparently. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody shocked by that one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's the pork shoulder. She says about $12, but this is how many pounds? Eight? Eight pounds? Yep. And what we normally end up doing is dividing it in half. Uh, we go ahead and cook the whole thing, but we divide it after it's cooked in half, freeze the other half. And then with the half that we do not freeze, we usually get two to three meals out of that. So basically, I'm saying we're getting about six meals out of $12.41, not counting the spices and barbecue sauce and stuff that we put in it. But that's not bad at all. And I'm almost positive our son should have had enough Cokes for two weeks, but these were on sale. We normally pay $8.38 for this case and it was on sale for seven dollars and 47 cents so we decided to go ahead and get that since it was on sale and uh if you're wondering why we don't have a, um some of the joel's like lunch foods breakfast foods since his restaurant reopened he is uh going in pretty early in the morning and he's gone through breakfast and lunch and sometimes dinner sometimes dinner <laughs> but that's the life of a brand new restaurant so you know for right now we our grocery hauls as far as his stuff goes will be a little short uh smaller all right that is all today i wanted to show you how i make bone broth or chicken broth because I use chicken bones, you can use it either way in my opinion. Okay, so you first put your bones in there. You do wanna try to make sure you get uh, healthy chicken bones as much as possible. If you can get an organic, free range chicken, that's good. But what I don't do is I don't ever use the rotisserie bones if I buy a rotisserie chicken. These are from whole chickens that I have made at home just because rotisserie chickens tend to have preservatives in it. And if you make the whole chicken at home, you have control over the ingredients that you used while cooking it. So you fill up the pot with water. You wanna make sure that you cover the bones with it. Um, I put a splash of apple cider vinegar. I will put the recipe down in the description so that you can see how much you really are supposed to put in there if you want to measure it out but i don't tend to bother with that uh, two bay leaves and a sprinkle of thyme and then i go ahead again i fill i i fill my s slow cooker all the way to the top you can also make this in a large stock pot if you want to then you want to put your slow cooker on high heat for two hours and then turn it down to low heat. After two hours, you're going to actually skim the impurities off the top, which you'll see me do right here. Um, that just helps make sure that you get good quality uh, broth off of it and there's no impurities in it. Uh, then um, I go for the next day into the next uh, the net that night the next day into the next Night I add all the veggies and garlic you can add the peeling and everything and remember you want to keep your veggie scraps when you cook something and Put them in the freezer and you can use this in your broth You will also see me open up a bag of something unwrap it and then not actually add it to the pot and what happened was I realized that the 
ginger root that I had already had moldy spots on it. And I had just bought that two or three days earlier, so I was not a happy camper at that moment. <laughs> Because I have never had that actually happen before. Okay, and then that is actually parsley that I've added. You can get fresh. I just uh, used dried at that point. And I always add a little more water just to make sure I'm getting all the water uh, broth I can. Now, I am showing you that this is my setup for when it's time to strain the broth. I have two bowls in the sink plus a strainer. I also add a towel onto the strainer just to make sure that I'm getting all the bones and everything out of it. I am only getting broth from it. I also keep an extra towel just to clean my hands with. Uh, you will also see, um, you'll see there that I'm taking out the bigger pieces of bones out of it first, and I do add it right there into the strainer. When I'm done, I, I squeeze, as soon as it fills up, I squeeze the bone so that it actually gets as much of the collagen and stuff out of the bones into the broth. Just give it a good squeeze. And what I have the other bowl in the other sink for is I actually empty the towels, the towel out with all those little things into that bowl. And then I put the towel right back into the strainer. After I'm done, I actually use a funnel and another strainer that's kind of smaller, but you don't have to do that. But to me, it's just an added layer of making sure that I get everything out of it and that I'm only getting the broth. And I just continue filling up the bowl, the mason jars until I have them all just like that. Don't forget to uh, comment below which uh, meal you'd like for us to see. Let's do the recipe for We'll do those on Thursdays. Uh, so uh, the recipe of the week. Yeah, recipe of the week. Just a comment below and tell us which recipe you'd like for us to do. And uh, we'll try to get that in the rotation. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for other updates from us. And um, comment below what you're eating this week and how your grocery hauls are going. So for the long run with Joel and Christy, I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And we'll see you next time. Bye.